Good evening, all you happy hiking hippies. It's your boy Vanilla Gorilla, and what you are about to see is a review video that we put together for five different backpacking tents that are currently on the market. So you'll see them in the video. There's a uh, Big Agnes Copper Spur HBUL2. There's an REI Quarter Dome 3. There's an REI Passage 1. There's an MSR Hubba Hubba NX two-man tent. And there's also a, a Z-Pax Duplex tent. So I just wanted to say before you see the video that a lot of the other gear video reviews that I watch are mainly geared towards these smaller hikers that are, you know, five foot eight and skinny. So these gear reviews are, are towards or targeting for people that are the larger hikers out there. And I see a lot of us out there. So the one thing that we can't get an impression of without actually seeing a tent in person is how well will it fit a larger hiker? Can you bring your gear in with you? So that's what I hope to illustrate in this video. Uh, so if you're out there and you're a larger hiker, guy or girl, um, you know, if you're trying to figure out which tent you want to purchase next, hopefully this video will help you out. So we'll uh, do a review. You'll see there's some issues I'm having with one of the tents and uh, and I'll do an update on uh, the, the that company's responses to it. So when I did when I know more about it. So I hope you enjoy the video. Hike on. What's up, hippies? It's your boy Vanilla Gorilla, and today we are doing the tent review video. So we have five different tents that we're going to set up, uh, show you the how big they are inside, if you can actually fit one person in a pack and your air mattress, uh, whether it's more suited for one, two, or three people. So the five tents that we have, we've got the MSR Hubba Hubba NX two-person tent with the footprint. We've got the REI Co-op Passage One one-man tent with the footprint. We've got the Big Agnes. Copper Spur High Volume Ultralight 2 two man tent with the footprint. The REI Co op Quarter Dome 3 three person tent with a footprint. And then last is the Z Pax Duplex, supposed to be a two man tent. And that's the only one out of the group that's Cuban fiber. Uh, the rest of them all are uh, sill nylon. So we're going to go ahead and do some weights on the tent. So we'll start out. All right, folks, so we're going to do the weights on each tent so you know what they weigh on your pack. First, the z pack duplex. It's got eight stakes in there. No footprint. So that weighs at one pound, nine ounces. So that's 26 or so ounces. The next is going to be the REI quarter dome three with stakes and footprint. Five pounds and one ounce. It's the heaviest tent in the group, probably. Only three man tent here. Big Agnes Copper Spur two man tent with footprint stakes. Three pounds, seven ounces. REI Passage one man tent, stakes and footprint. Four pounds and seven ounces. That's pretty heavy for a one man. And then last is the MSR Hubba Hubba two person with a footprint stakes. Four pounds, four ounces. So the, the Hubba Hubba and the uh, Copper Spur are pretty close to each other in weight. Obviously the heaviest one is that quarter dome three man tent. And then the, the lightest of the groups always z packs It's hard to beat that Cuban fire. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is set all these tents up. We're going to show you what they look like inside, climb inside, do a good review on each one of them. So we're going to put it up and come back to you in a minute. Yeah, yeah. All right, everybody. So first tent we're going to do a review on is the REI Quarter Dome 3. Now they're calling this a three-man tent, but come over here. I want you to show the people here. I've got two air mats in here, and it is taking up pretty much all of the available space inside the tent. So 
three man absolutely not everybody knows three man tent for all of you uh bigger hikers of the available space that these things have so climbing in clearly lots of headroom in this tent lots of shoulder space my leg completely out a little bit of room down there and I'm pretty much head up against this end of the tent. So, not a whole lot of uh, extra space on the ends of these tents. So, that's what that one looks like on the inside. Again, this one is the heaviest tent of the bunch, coming in at uh, right around five pounds. Uh, we rode out a pretty big storm in this tent in Georgia, and it did really well. It didn't blow over anything, held up all night, high winds, a lot of lightning, thunder. Uh, Got a lot of splash from underneath the rain fly, but kept our gear pretty dry. And with two people, you're still gonna have to keep your packs in the vestibule, which is fine, just prepare for that. So that's it for inside this tent. We're gonna move on to the next one. All right, folks. So the next tent up is the MSR Hubba Hubba. Two man tent, and we have a special treat for you today. The Trudge is making a guest appearance this is his tent, so we got him laid out on a uh, REI flash pad in there. Passed out. Passed out. Been drinking some beer today. But uh, you can see he's got a lot of room on both sides of him. He can easily fit his pack get in away. here with him. He can easily get that pack inside with him, bring his gear in. Uh, lots of headroom. He could probably sit up and change clothes, no problem in here. And this tent does have a higher bathtub wall all the way around. It's going to give them that extra splash protection from uh, the, the rainstorms I'd like to splash mud up on you. So this is one, this one is really close to the same weight as the uh, Big Agnes tent. So far he's loving this thing. How, you like it so far? That's oh, great. There you go. Long-winded is the trudge. So, uh, so that's the MSR Hubba Hubba. Fully freestanding tent. So with the uh, Quarter Dome 3. And uh, that's about it. For the hubba hubba. Oh. Alright folks, the next tent up for review is the REI Passage 1. It's a one man tent. And this ought to be interesting with a guy my size trying to climb in here. But it does have an oval shaped kind of teardrop door. It's a good thing you got an overall ass. Alright, so you can kind of see already with an air pad in there, there ain't room for anything other than a one person. No gears coming in with this one. Again, I'm about six two six three, and there ain't room for. This wouldn't be a good one for me. There ain't room. My feet are already touching down there. My head's at this end, and I can sit up. You're not going to change your clothes in this thing or anything. Uh, the trudge did ride out a pretty wicked storm in Georgia in this one. You have a, little, a couple stuff sacks up here. Um, and it, it, it's got a high wall for your bathtub floor, so you've got good rain protection. You're not going to get a lot of splash in here. But this is it. If you're a minimalist, uh, you know, this might be a good option, but honestly, this one's heavier than some of the other two and three man tents we have out here. So. Wouldn't be one I would buy, but, you know, some of y'all might like that one. So, that's it for the Passage 1. Buddy. Next one in line, this is the Big Agnes Copper Spur HVUL2. Two-man tent, and you can kind of already see, if you want to look inside here, it does have room for an air mat and a pack to sit in there beside you. Plenty of room, this is a great option for a one-person tent. I really don't even see two air mats fitting in here for a two, so just know that. I'm going to go ahead and climb inside so you can see the space. And what's different that they've done is they do have a two-part zipper on their door. I kind of like that feature. Uh, it does have a lower bathtub wall, so that might be an issue with splashback. Down here on the head end, we do have a gear storage here and a gear storage pocket on each end. Then when you uh, 
zippers are really easy to use. You get extra splash protection at the head end. And there's plenty of room for a guy my size to get in here. And uh, the only thing I might recommend is you might get a little condensation down here at the foot end on your sleeping bag or quilt. You know, you can just drape your, uh, your rain jacket or something over the top of your quilt on your feet. Be a good option. So, as far as weight is concerned, you know, this, this tent weighs, what, three pounds something ounces? It's a really good option for a solo hiker to bring your gear inside. Really don't see it being a good option for two, but I really like this tent. This one's going to be coming out on a lot more of my adventures. So that's the Big Agnes Copper Spur 2. Cheerio. All right, everybody. So the last tent we have to review today is the Z-Pax Duplex tent. It's the only Cuban fiber tent we have. And it's going to go over some issues I might have had with this so far. Uh, had it out on two days on the trail, and you probably won't be able to see this on camera. The mesh they use has a tendency to run, kind of like pantyhose. Uh, did get some correspondence with Joe from z -Packs, the owner of the company. Recommended that if you can run the material through your fingers, you might be able to get it to straighten out. And that is true to some extent. I have heard they've switched to a thicker netting material to prevent some of that, give it some more life. But the main thing I am unhappy with so far, you come over here and look at this. I just noticed this today. You see right here. This strip has separated from the top stitched seam in the top of the tent. So I have sent an email out to Z-Packs. We'll see how they respond to that. But we're going to go ahead and climb inside and show you how it fits a big gorilla and your gear. So it's a smaller opening. It's going to be a little harder to get into than the big Agnes. For a big person, but you can climb in. I don't like how this drops on the floor. It makes it too easy to step on it. I like the ones that just kind of pull out of the way a little better. But anyhow, I can get in this tent. And I do have lots of room at the foot end and the head end. It's and a big pack. head. And my pack is in here with me. So space-wise, I can sit up this tent. Now my head does kind of hit the roof, but I can sit up in here. It's not as spacious as the Big Agnes, but, you know, coming in at two pounds lighter than the Copper Spur, it's really hard to not want to put this pack, this tent in my pack when I go, just because of the weight. However, uh, it, it is more <laughs> fragile than some of the other tents out there. So that's a personal decision you got to make between weight and uh, durability. So I do like the tent. I really hope they respond well. I'll take, I'm hoping they'll take this tent back and, and fix the problems for me. But I'll, uh, I'll definitely let you know what Z-Packs does. Uh, on my first trip out, I did break one of their trekking poles second day out. They did honor that and sent me a brand new trekking pole free of charge. So thank you Z-Packs for honoring that. Uh, again, they just said for the netting, uh, you know, if you rip a hole, stitch it up. It's basically what they said. So we'll see how they respond to that. And uh, that is the last tent we had to review. Uh, the only other thing I can really say is the only other category of river is, is money. And anybody that's in this game doing backpacking and stuff, you know that all of this stuff is expensive. And the lighter it gets, the more expensive it is. So if cost is your major concern, then you're probably going to end up carrying a heavier tent you know, for that, that cost category. Uh, if you do have the money to spend, you can get lighter gear. And there's other options out there besides Z-Packs. Um, you know, I'm hoping to get my hands on a light heart gear tent soon and check that one out too. Uh, and there's a lot of other options out there. But uh, that's all the ones I have to show you. Hope you find this informative. So we'll see you out on the trail. Thanks for watching. Vanilla Gorilla out.